Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are okay on that side of the screen. And the topic of the, this particular video is Akintosh. Fan or not, uh, believe me that this thing is working great. So if this is a topic that some, somehow matters to you, just stay tuned and, uh, well, and just watch it. <laughs> Welcome back after the intro. Hope it doesn't bore you too much, but it's my 30 seconds of, of uh, glory. Uh, what I was trying to say about fan or not is because I have to be honest, uh, the very first time I tried Akintosh, I didn't like it. A lot of bugs, a lot of uh, wow. all sorts of breakups here and there in the cups and freezes and wow, whatnot. Uh, lately, after I made uh, a video, um, about the Retina 5K. I, will, I was really tempted to buy it, but uh, I didn't bought it and now I'm gonna wait because I've got an option right here and probably you uh, have some hardware at your home that you can use for it and no difficulties. Before I move along, I would really like to appreciate Mr. HD71. So this is not the first guy and if, if you are watching, probably you are, if you are watching, thumbs up for you. Uh, you really insisted with me, hey Robert, try this and try that and, and you uh, also suggested the 980 GTX desktop um, NVIDIA card, uh, which is a great, great GPU. Uh, I'm not going to go so far, at least for now, I will have the system testing it up because one of the, the cons of Akintosh is, and this I want to give a right out of that, uh, updates and things like that, uh, I'm a bit scared yet. I'm a really beginner on Akintosh. I cannot say that I'm a fan yet, but uh, this guy here, Mr. HD71, uh, really pushed me and, hey, why don't you try, why don't you try, why don't you try? And uh, I did try the first Hackintosh on the platform X58 on my CPU uh, i7-960. Uh, back then I had uh, 24 gigabytes of RAM. The CPU socket was 1366 and that was my first uh, try. Didn't work at all. Uh, bugs and errors and whatnot. So I given up and back then I bought a Mac Mini which suited me fine until I found that the GPU was struggling my work. Um, then I had to keep my projects as simple as, as possible, but uh, one of the, this particular project for a client took six hours to render on the Mac Mini and I said, this is enough. Uh, so I sold the Mac Mini, then I bought my wife's A, which is over here still running Mavericks, I hope you can see it there, right on, right over here, uh, sorry about that. But uh, that machine uh, led me somehow uh, an improvement over the GPU, which was the HD4000 to the uh, Yiddish Pro graphics, so I could handle my, just for Motion 5, nothing else, uh, I could handle myself over there and connecting my wife's uh, iMac 24, uh, 21 inch, you can see it on the channel. Connecting it to my dual, uh, triple screens, but I connect it to two, uh, two of them and just work there. So this has been my workflow. I was waiting for the iMac refresh, then comes the Retina 5K, decided not to go because I knew the GPU. And now that I know the GPU, um, I've got another solution here, which I will show you in, in a moment. Just want to take some things out of the way. And uh, Akintosh is really, really... Now, I don't know... Uh, I don't know... The, the, the suggestions of Mr. HD71, the 980M, uh, the 980 uh, GPU desktop uh, version, uh, probably I'm not going to get that because one of the cons of, of the non-Mac hardware is 
uh, not having everything um, and being afraid of losing something. If, if I have a client's job there, that really worries me. So that's why I want to test this more and more and more. But taking that um, out of the way, even with the GTX 760, which I, I have at the moment, I've got a great uh, performance there. Really close to the new uh, AMD GPU. And if you watch the previous video that I did, you will see the, the performance difference there. It's minimal. Uh, the GPU of AMD, it's a bit higher uh, on the performance, <laughs> which is great, but uh, minimal. That being said, let's go to the screen here and um, let's take a look at uh, my Hackintosh, as you can see, all this here, everything is working. If I go to uh, displays, you can see my three displays here, all powered by the GTX uh, 760. Uh, storage, I've got all, uh, well, my all storage. I even have a DVD drive, which honestly, almost no use for it, but uh, I still have it there. Um, one thing that I do is I, I keep separated uh, SSDs, one for uh, the Akintosh and one for my Windows 8 uh, application, so no, uh, no confusions there. Um, what I want to show you more, memory, all banks occupied, working great. Uh, and let's go to system report, uh, audio, everything great, everything great, storage, you will see that I have, I uh, don't know if it's here or here, I think it's here, and black magic speed test, this I can do, okay, so just a quick uh, speed test here, and We've got uh, nice speeds on the right, 325, 300, above 300 on the read, on the right. And then we are about uh, 500 on the reads. And by the way, in this case, I'm not using the Samsung 840 Evo as usually I do. I'm using this PNY. I'll try not to forget to make a small video. This was really cheap, just 120 um, gigs that I bought about uh, two or three weeks ago and I will try not to forget to post the link below. So as you can see here, great performance, uh, everything is working, um, everything is working great, great speed, um, no problems at all with any of the applications. And right out of the bat, I'm gonna do a few videos of the few problems that I found and that I could uh, eliminate uh, searching a little bit and spending a little bit of time. Okay, uh, a little bit of time. I did spend one full morning uh, installing and troubleshooting. So one full morning was not that bad. Um, having in mind that since then, and this is about a week and a half ago, something like that, uh, since then I've got no problems at all. And the benchmarks that I've been doing is during the day been working regularly the normal if I have a job to do I just switch to to Windows just reboot and switch to Windows um, if it's Apple motion I already started a project here which but but this isn't my personal project so there's no no problem there um, and during the night what I do is I go to Adobe After Effects the CC 2014 version uh, I place about six or seven projects on the render queue leave it to render uh, and then let the computer sleep. In the morning when I wake up, I just click the button. The computer wakes up really well, works really well, the, the, the sleep and wake. And um, I check if everything went, <coughs> sorry, if everything went right. And until now, for all these nights that I've been doing the test, nothing uh, became frozen, nothing became corrupted, everything working as a, uh, Mac system so not really sure if it's the Yosemite or the Yosemite or the Tony Mac tools uh, that made this thing awesome and at some point there's no a lot of work to do uh, things and this will be for the next videos but things that um, I had to spend a little bit of time I've got an Asus motherboard uh, Z87 and uh, before I go to this, when I built the PC 
uh, back in January this year, January 2014, I had in no mind building a Akintosh. It was just the PC for my work. Uh, so no Akintosh intended and still working uh, great. So probably that's something that you want to check. If you, if you check my channel, I will probably forget to put the link. If you check my channel, you will check uh, the, the video that I built of the PC. You can see all the parts, all the hardware that I used on the platform Z87 Asus. So the first fix was after I installed Yos Yosemite, um, my motherboard does not allow to uh, boot itself without the USB. So if you have a motherboard Z87, for what I've seen, the Z97 disk doesn't happen anymore. Um, this is about the partition, the EFI partition and, and things like that. So I will give you a hint how to do that. Uh, I'm thankful to a guy on the Akintosh community as well. In this case, it was not Mr. HT71, but I'm sure that he would uh, he would have teached me uh, with no problems because, uh, well, he obviously knows, knows these things. Uh, I did have a problem with my sound once I installed Yosemite and this was an easy fix. I think it was not even a fix, it was uh, myself stupidity. Uh, I had also a problem with the freezes. Uh, the first time I, I installed uh, I got random fixes after half an hour, after 40 minutes, after 10 minutes and this was an easy fix, something that I didn't try in the past and, and right now works really well one week <laughs> something working non-stop uh, oh by the way something before I forget if you see there at the back that's my kids PC uh, I'm not recording that screen but I will take a screenshot if I don't forget of that um, of that uh, desktop space there uh, that's a complete different PC. It's also on my channel, really budget PC, nothing really fancy, just for him to play uh, some games. But the motherboard, it's the H H H81M uh, Plus from Asus, it has the i3 CPU, um, at the moment has only the integrated uh, GPU. I took off the AMD, I didn't want any problems, and I didn't test the AMD with uh, Yosemite. Uh, but just to say that I was surprised with this one. I did the experience on my kids' PC and it's working great as well. Everything running flawlessly. Of course, in there I don't have an SSD because I don't have uh, more SSDs here. I've got four on total, all being used. Um, so I used a regular 5400 RPM on, the, on my kids' PC, uh, taking that out of the way. So, and then the other problem that I had was when my Hackintosh went to sleep, uh, and then wake up, I didn't have uh, sound. The sound was gone. And I searched a little bit and find out a solution without any uh, axe, without, well, really easy. So these problems that I had, uh, which were really minimal compared to what I had on the past, um, I will try to make today even small videos about this. Uh, this might help you to understand uh, what you are doing wrong or what we aren't doing because uh, there's some things that we don't know and we are always always learning so feel free to make any question uh, bear in mind my knowledge on the Akintosh is very limited I know this uh, specific to my system uh, and I don't know all and I will refer in my help videos I will refer to the, the sources uh, where I found if it was a source uh, on the screen here what I can show you is uh, at the moment I cannot show you well there's no point in showing anything else uh, all the info is here everything is running just just great no uh, I don't know no no problems at all everything just fine and with this said guys um, I know it's not a very helpful video it's just something like an introduction and something that changes my way of seeing things because after tried Akintosh as I said twice failed uh, I forgot about Akintosh that was not an option today it is an option and I'm gonna be honest with you it's gonna be not a permanent option uh, at least this is what I'm expecting not a permanent option it's gonna be a temporary option which 
great performance here. <laughs> it's the same performance that I have on Windows. Uh, so it will allow me, if it keeps on working great like this, it will allow me to wait until a next refresh if I feel that's the, the right tool uh, for me. So in my particular case, although I really appreciate Mr. HD71, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I really appreciate you pushing me on this and this probably sharing with the community will help others. Uh, but um, for me, I think it will be temporarily because uh, I would prefer uh, to have a hardware from, from, uh, from Apple where I can make all sorts of updates and uh, I can install everything. Um, and that's it. So, but let's see, we, we never know the future. <laughs> I thought Hackintosh was finished for me and look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna Hackintosh with triple display here. I uh, don't know if you can see three screens, yeah. Triple display here uh, running just fine. So we never know what tomorrow expects us. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you had or if you have an Asus Z87 motherboard uh, and you want to fix your boot um, to not have a pen with uh, multi-beast and um, uh, unibeast to install and then multi-beast to, to put the drivers in and the bootloaders and whatnot. Uh, if you want to boot up just with, with your computer, not to have this stick there every time you want to boot, um, I will lead you to the solution next. If that's not, just jump to the other one and, and uh, you might want to, to help it regarding the sound, regarding the freezes, what not. Okay, so guys, once again, thanks for watching and Mr. HD 71 thank you for pushing me. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys.